Hello everyone, welcome to Red Cystic channel, myself Karthik. In this course, we are going to learn about Java programming from the scratch. Uh, the aim of this course is to make you master in Java. The content of the course has been structured in a very simple way to make you understand each and every concepts in a simple way. And also by writing a Java program, you will be master in those concepts. So here we are going to use 1.8 for this particular course. First, we'll be learning about the core Java basic concepts where we'll be learning about what is Java language and what is the history behind Java language, what are all the versions we have it in Java and how JDK, JRE, JVM typically works in this Java world. Next, we will learn about uh, object-oriented programming concepts where we will learn about uh, what is an object, what is a class, what is inheritance, polymorphism and abstraction and much more cool stuff over there. Then we will deep dive into uh, fundamentals of Java programming where we will learn how to write a Java class where typically we will write a class with variables, methods and dealing with the data and we will learn about how we can understand how the data is stored in our memory and how it is retrieved from the memory, how it is used in for manipulation within a Java program and also we will be learning about how to handle the exceptions in Java language and we are going to start from scratch and we will learn in and out of Java programming language. Next we will move into a data control flow where we will be learning multiple statements like uh, control statements like if else, while, do while, other uh, controlling statements and also looping statements like for loop and also iterations wherein we will be learning by doing a real-time programming. Then we will have a deep dive into a collection framework where we will be learning about what is a collection in Java and why do we need collection framework and what are the typical collection frameworks we use in a daily life uh, in Java world like list, set, map, etc, etc where we will be learning about on what scenario we have to use what type of collection framework and which will make us to decide of making our program more effective way and then we will be deep diving into a multi-threading concepts where we will learn about what is a thread what is a process what is multi-threading how to write a multi-threaded uh, program in java and what makes a java multi-threading uh, language where we will be learning in different ways of implementing uh, multi-threading in java as well so for every each and every concepts once we are moving from one section to another section, we will have a separate kind of a place where we will have a list of uh, Java questions where we will be revisiting our knowledge by trying out our answers and questions where we will, uh, you will have a better idea about uh, the knowledge what you have acquired in the particular session. So all the Java languages, programs, whatever we are discussing in our course, we will be sharing with in our description. If you haven't subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and also click on the notification button so that you won't get uh, missed, you won't get missed any of our new videos. Thank you guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.